when something like this happens, I don't care where it is, people have a tendency, I believe, to lose hope, especially when nobody's answering questions, especially when there's nowhere to go to get answers. So nobody knew where to go, what to do, what services were available. We had people with no water, no heat. There was no power in our apartment. There is no heat. And there is, of course, well, no water. It was chaos down there at that point with people looking for information and just finding, trying to find out, you know, where they could find loved ones, trying to have prescriptions filled. That Saturday, right after the storm, our Far Rockaway Library opened up without power, without heat, without lights, without anything, with our manager who was down there, with her staff. We love Miss Anderson, the manager for this library. We love Miss Anderson. They was giving out food, they gave out clothes. They had a generator and everybody got to power their phones and call their family. Every five minutes we were getting calls from different synagogues, different churches, asking what could they donate. So that was um, a help for them. It gave them some hope. I had to come get my books. I had took out 12 books the day before the hurricane, and I read them in a three-day time span. So I needed my books. We had 62 libraries to do inventory on to see which ones had power, which ones had water damage, which ones had wind damage. This building is total. There's about 60,000 items in there that circulate. And uh, tables, chairs, desks. Uh, there's an adult learning center in here where we do GED programs, all those materials, records of room, and millions of dollars worth of equipment and furniture. And uh, three of the buildings had just recently been renovated. Brand new uh, interiors. Go for it. We sent the uh, book bus down here so we could quickly get some kind of service for the folks that live down here. Well, I saw the bus and so I was curious and I came in and I got information on how to apply for FEMA and I also wanted to use the computer because my power is out. It's nice to have some place warm to charge things and get on the internet. It's nice to feel like there's a civilization outside of everything that happened. There were a lot of people that wanted to help. They didn't know the community and we are in every one of these communities. So we became that glue that kind of connected a lot of the resources. It kind of makes it feel like even though a lot of things got destroyed, this is still here, like the neighborhood can go back to normal. Even though it's just a bus, it's like the library has always been here. Like this was the one area everybody came to. So to see the mobile library here is like, it's kind of like it brings the neighborhood together. I love my library. I get my books. See, I had to get James Patterson. Where is he? First copy. And I got it. And nobody's getting it till I read it and bring it back. <laughs> 